Hey guys, my name is Katarina Berry. I am making a video today about why you should absolutely consider trying yoga. Um, and I actually made a mini series talking about the top five things that you should absolutely be doing right now. In fact, there has never been a better time to do them. That video is going to show up right above my head at some point. And then there are um, dedicated videos to four other things besides the one we're going to be talking about right now. So these are going to be all linked in the description below. And um, feel free to check them out. But I know that we are in a really strange time together globally, um, getting through the quarantine and the other updates that seem to be changing every day, so much uncertainty and chaos and fear and panic. Um, and a lot of us are spending a lot of times at our homes and we're sitting all the time, myself included, we're sitting. We're sitting on the chair, we're sitting behind the desk, we're sitting behind the kitchen table, sitting, 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 you know. Uh, sometimes we'll go for a walk, but that's not really always allowed, or I think different rules in different states or something, because I'm in the United States, so um, that can be different for a lot of people. Um, gyms are closed. Um, some of us don't really have the workout equipment at home, and if you have a whole family with you, which I, I do not, I live by myself, thankfully. <laughs> Um, but if you have a family and a bunch of uh, family members with you all the time, then you might not feel like you have the room or the space to work out and move around. So you get you might be getting achy after this uh, after this time, uh, like three weeks it's been, four weeks, something like that. Um, you might be getting achy and you might be having some back issues and some just soreness and like muscle kind of blah situation. I don't know how to describe that, but I've certainly had this feeling. And so what I would suggest is that you uh, try out yoga. And I'm not talking about crazy hard yoga where like you have to do like the pretzel twists and, and go to like a sweat lodge and like do a bunch of like crazy poses in while dripping sweat, you know, I, I don't like these types of yoga. However, I know a lot of people that do, so all the respect to them um, and no offense, but that's just not my thing. When I do go to the gym, I like to have a really intense cardio. I like to do some weights. I like to spend my sweet time at the gym, just going around doing all sorts of exercises. I love the gym. I miss it so much. But when it comes to yoga, I don't I don't really want to be doing like all the crazy like twists and stuff. It makes me feel really insecure. And I'm a, I'm a pretty large frame person. I'm six foot three. Um, and I I mean, I'm like, I'd say I'm a pretty uh, physically like I'm pretty large. Um, just height wise alone. So I don't have necessarily the flexibility. Um, that I see a lot of other people kind of have maybe more naturally. Um, I have very long limbs, like especially my legs. So I, I like, I, and they're like, I don't know. I, I've just always kind of felt really awkward and insecure and uncomfortable doing the crazy yoga that is like really hard and really like, uh, like a workout. I never enjoyed it. It was always painful and painfully awkward and like, kill me now, please. I hope no one's looking. Like, I don't like that feeling. And I don't like feeling like that, even if no one's looking and I'm alone. It's just not for me. Um, but anyway, so then what am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about a really great type of yoga that you could try at home. Um, and that is um, something that's called yin yoga. Now, yin yoga is uh, a more gentle um, kind of a feminine energy, not female, feminine energy. So like nurturing, supporting, deep relaxation, um, allowing, relaxing, um, observing, passive type energy. So it's not active. It's not like sunrise yoga. It's not like any kind of hot sweat lo lodge yoga or whatever it's called. It's more like stretching, deep stretching and resting and um, finding stillness is what it's about. 
Now, if you've been sitting around, you're probably wondering, well, if I've been sitting around and pretty still, then why would I need yoga that's, that has to do with stillness? Well, this type of yoga allows you to really stretch. And that's something that we all need after sitting or being in any pose for a long time. It, it, it gets into the areas of your body that you will not be able to stretch otherwise. And yet it doesn't require any strenuous physical activity. Most of the poses are kind of laying down but there are some twists and there are some um, gentle body movements that you are encouraged to take to that um, spot where it feels a little bit challenging and yet you don't experience any sharp pain or extreme discomfort like that's not that's not a, the goal at all um, so you are still challenging yourself it's just gentle and and all the poses are recommended to be held for from two to four minutes um, which is a pretty long time. So this would require maybe 45 minutes of your time to just try it out um, and really kind of hold the poses as long as you can or want to. Um, so I have this wonderful deck of um, yin yoga poses that my dad once gave me. And after I'm done talking, I'm gonna um, play some music and slowly go through all the poses um so you can see them and i'm gonna call this video somewhat of a review of that deck and i'm actually gonna post a link to that deck in case you want to purchase it um but that's not necessary because you're gonna see all the cards in this video um and if you can just remember a few maybe that would be fun to try out um or you can just kind of gently gently use this video as a guide maybe take some screenshots and and use those so here are a few ideas for you but i want you to be able to use this kit because i know deliveries are not really working right now and and things are complicated um this uh this deck also comes with a book i'm not going to be going over the book um, but I will show you the poses on the cards. And I usually, myself, I use just the cards. I just look at the poses and try my best to, uh, to, to make myself, uh, uh, like do something that looks similar. Um, there's no right or wrong. There is no pressure. There is no point of, of freaking yourself out. Like, oh, I don't look, you know, right in this pose. There is no right or wrong. Um, it is very relaxing. It is very gentle. It is very restoring. It's, uh, very good for your back. It gets to a lot of points of your back that are just being brutalized by all the sitting that we're all doing. Um, it will get to your legs and inner thighs and outer uh, glutes and all of that. Um, a little bit of your back. It will, you know, give you a nice, nice, nice stretch, you guys, I promise. And it's really calming, really relaxing. I like to listen to like, um, find something on YouTube, such as like singing bowls or Tibetan bowls or um, crystal harp or like any kind of meditation music works really well. Cause you don't really want to be thinking while you're doing that. In fact, you're, you, you want to be embracing that stillness, that presence, that um, kind of being with your body and showing up for your body and doing something kind for your body after it's doing so much kind, so many kind things for you, especially now when, you know, things are so uncertain. Um, and yet here you are. So I'm going to move on to the portion of the video that's going to show you the cards and all the poses. Um, and before I do, I just want this note. I want to thank you for watching this video. I hope it serves you. I hope it helps you. If you want to check out the video, that goes over the four other things. Now is the perfect time to do. Um, it's going to be all in the description down below. If you like this type of content, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Um, mostly this channel is dedicated to videos about empaths and people with um, high sensitivity to emotions to, of others, to where they, they almost like feel, feel them themselves. Um, people who have some psychic abilities that are able to perceive energy in this way that is really like, mm, makes them feel kind of different and um, often makes them feel kind of isolated and frustrated and alone. So um, there's, there's, there are lots of sides to this journey, but I am definitely an empath. And so if, you, if, you, if you're curious about all this stuff, check out the other videos on my channel. 
Um, if you do want to stay in touch with my uploads, make sure to hit that bell button because really guys, that's the only way that you're going to find out because I do not do uploading schedules and it's kind of sporadic and I tend to upload a bunch of videos at the same time because that's how I film them. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you're going to enjoy the cards. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I respond to all of my comments, so I'll be happy to talk to you. Um, thanks again for watching. Love you so much. Hope you can feel my love and let's get into cards. Mm -hmm.